here at My Parents' Basement always strive to bring you the best and most balanced breakfast to consume during your listening experience. But lately, we have received complaints about a key ingredient in our famous MPB cereal. We have received your feedback on the amount of microchips and have hopefully fixed your issue. That is why we are proud to present MPB cereal, Oops, All Microchips. This gets rid of all those pesky whole grains so we can bring you what you love the most. You may ask, is this healthy to consume? And to that we say, who's asking? Welcome back to My Parents' Basement, the only show that's part of a complete breakfast. I'm Sam. I'm Griffin. I've, <laughs> uh, you know, I, I believe in that pitch. I, I would buy that. Dude, are you kidding me? We're always watching. If you got like, like a catchy jingle and like, like a good commercial, maybe like, like a fun little mascot, pe- people would, people would buy that. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> like our little microphone dancing about. Yeah. So it's got to have like, like a good crunch to it. That's what the microchips are for. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, it's good to be back. As always, if you are listening to this anywhere else that isn't Twitch while we're doing this live, you can hear these live. Twitch.tv slash JustAnotherSam17. We record every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central Time, 8 p.m. Eastern. And I don't give a fuck about what it is specific because I don't know the math. 5 p.m. Pacific. Thank you. I'm not smart. (laughs) That's why you're here. (laughs) This is my role. That's why you're... you were you were part of the the pitch meeting when we made oops all microchips. If you were, we you probably would have stopped us. I love it when I was writing that I said oops all microchips and you were laughing for like a good fifteen seconds. Got a good good little chuckle out of me. Yeah. Anyways, we did that very serial center centered central centered centric. My brain's broken. It's okay. Help. It's okay. That like you said, this is what I'm here for. It's a fix grammar. Can you can you explain the premise, please? My brain's broken. Yeah, uh, we did a cereal centric intro because today we're going to be doing our tier list of breakfast cereals, all of our favorite ones, except for the ones that we've never heard of, because the tier list that we found has some weirdo shit. It really does, and it has like five versions of Captain Crunch. Yeah, fifteen different Cheerios. So we're just gonna like keep it to, like if we're talking about Captain Crunch. We're talking about all of Captain Crunch. Mm-hmm. We're talking about mini wheats. We're talking all of mini wheats. This is something that we used to do a lot back in the old days, back in the dark ages, before mm-hmm. Alged production. Uh, I can't believe we were saying the name wrong. <laughs> that is quite unfortunate. <laughs> you read the message, right? Yes. <laughs> so for those who, by the time this episode comes out, our first episode will be out for a while. Our first two, actually. But we said the name of the company that we work for wrong. <laughs> Numerous times, <laughs> which is that that's, that's it's a bit of an oopsie uh, to be, you know the hand up that's on us. Yeah, a tad of an oopsie. Anyways, are you ready to start this tier list? I'm ready to rock on. Where could people see this tier list? Because we're just gonna be talking about it, um, but then it'll also be you know we'll, we'll be streaming it live. But where can people find it once we're done? Once they are done, they can find it on Twitter at another Sam Seventeen. We post this up there. I'm probably going to make some clips of this to put on like TikTok or something. Just watch it live. If you watch it live, you can be part of the conversation. You could adjust our placements. Yeah. If you think that we're hating on your favorite cereal, then fucking tell us. You may, you may be able to influence us. Yeah. I mean, you won't because you're wrong. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, we will be incorrect, but you could have. Are you ready to begin? Yes. Let us start with Apple Jacks. I think this is a solid A tier. Apple Jacks are a fucking great cereal. I will say, though, they probably didn't change the recipe, but something changed when they changed the mascots. Like when they got rid of the apple and cinnamon? Yeah, the, the cinnamon guy. It, it, it's just not the same. It's just not, but it still like slaps oh, yeah. so hard. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> I don't think this is like one I would go out of my way for, but mm-hmm. if there is a, if like somebody is like, hey, do you want some Apple Jacks? I'm never going to say no to it. Oh, yeah. No, that, that that's, that's an easy A tier, I think. Absolutely. All right. Booberry. I don't think I've ever had booberry. I've never in had my blueberry. Life. I don't know what the hell this is. I don't know. I actually have no clue. What do we do with it? Uh, I, I don't think we. If, if we, if neither of us have ever tried it, I don't think we can. We can rank it in in good faith. I don't think so either. I think we have to skip. I'm sorry for all you booberry lovers. Sorry, booberry fanatics. I'm sorry. The only thing I really know Booberry from. You remember that old John Tron video? What was the horror show that he talked about? It wasn't Goosebumps. Oh, God. I, I don't even remember. 
I can't remember it. Oh, are you afraid of the dark? Are you afraid That's, of the oh, fucking dark? Okay, 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 okay. Of course. It was the guy that was like, you want to see a picture of a real ghost? And he pulls out Blueberry. <laughs> All right, Captain Crunch. Or Captain. Captain Crunch. Is, is this the original Captain Crunch? Because like you said, there were 15 different versions. Is this the original? This is Captain the original, Crunch? but we're going to judge as like a nebulous thing. Okay. So I am not a big fan of the Captain. <gasps> Say it ain't so. I think he's fine, but I would never go out of my way to eat Captain Crunch. And if it is there and there is like a different option, I would probably pick something else. Honestly, that's fair. Yeah, it's like like it's there. It, it's a tasty like a corn puff cereal. It's solid, but it's not like, you know, everything else has like chocolate or cinnamon or whatever. So like some some kind of good flavor going for it. It's just kind of there. Even like the 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 one that's like, oh, oops, all berries. Yeah. Even when the captain fucked up and added two more berries than he intended. It, it's still just kind of OK. Yeah, and And not only did he fuck up, but he put it on the shelves for us to buy his inept laziness. <laughs> His ineptitude turned turned into our our thing that we had to deal with. I'm gonna say C tier for Captain Crunch. Uh, yeah, honestly, plain Captain Crunch definitely. I, I think like maybe the other ones can be better, but yeah, the plain one is definitely not. It's it's not all that. Yeah, like it's I think it that. sits solidly at the top of C. Mm-hmm. Speaking of another C tier in my eyes, Cheerios. Okay, I'm fine with Cap- with us hating on Captain Crunch, but I will not accept Cheerio Slander. Even though, again, we're talking about the plain Cheerios, not even like Honey Nut ones. I still think they're really good. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a huge Cheerios guy. See, if we were talking Honey Nut, then we'd be talking a different story. These are just too bland for me. Like, even on the box, it's like you want... They're still soft. I, kn- I know. I mean, they're fine. I'm, I'm willing to go B tier for them. Because okay. I, I, I'll accept B tier for plain Cheerios. Because like, like I said, they're, they're not that bad. They're dependable. They're mm-hmm. just like simple, basic, really all you need. Okay, and for those wondering why we're not judging Honey Nut and Normal Cheerios in the same one, it's because they're so different mm-hmm. that it doesn't legitimately, they're like two completely separate cereals. Mm-hmm. And plus, it's only two and not four. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think, I think there's enough of a difference. And like Honey Nut Cheerios are like iconic just in their, in their own regard. Like, I feel like mm-hmm. most of the others are like very slight variants on the cereal. Yeah. Speaking of cereal with a lot, just a shit ton of slight variants, mm-hmm. checks. Oh, fucking checks. All right. Take out checks quest from this equation. Wait, what the hell is checks quest? Do you not know about checks quest? It's no, the I, Doom I, I don't clone. know about checks quest. It's the Doom clone that they put in boxes of checks back in the day. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, I do not know about checks quest, dude. Dude, checks quest fucking rocked. <laughs> anyway, I don't like these. You don't like che- okay? I asked you to put this to the cinnamon checks specifically rather than the plain ones. I think the cinnamon checks are honestly really, really good. They're kind of like life. Like I, I, I think checks are good. I've never had the cinnamon checks. I've only had regular and this like chocolate peanut butter flavor, which wasn't bad. Mm-hmm. But like I also like only ate like two bowls of it and then never touched it again. So <laughs> that's fair. But like uh, okay, I get the plain checks are kind of boring. But like you know. Wait, 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 but you get Chex Mix, right? And this is this is getting away from cereal. This is getting into dangerous territory of snack territory. Oh, but we're talking Chex, Chex Mix. Like, don't tell me that Chex are not the highlight of the Chex Mix. Like, come on. They're not. It's the M&M's. It's M&M's the are chocolate. not. M&M's are not in, in Chex Mix. What are you talking about? Or like um, chocolate chips, whatever. Whatever the oh, chocolate okay, thing okay, in there okay, is. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I think you're right. As a snack, they are pretty. They are delicious. They're, they're good. They're good. I, I, I don't hate. I, I could, I could see them in B tier as well. Like, like I said, I really don't think they're bad because I have not had the majority of these flavors, and you have. I'm gonna let you choose a placement. Uh, I'll, I'll put a B behind behind plain Cheerios. I think. Okay. Right there. Look at it. He's so happy. It's beautiful. <laughs> All right. Chips Ahoy cereal. I mean, have you ever had this? Because I, I, I definitely haven't had this. I've seen it. I haven't had it. So we're gonna skip that one too, I guess. Sorry, Chips Ahoy cereal. I okay. I imagine it would be delicious. Like, like, see with blueberry, I have no idea what the fuck what that could be cooking up. But like, Chips Ahoy, I, I'd imagine it's probably like what's the the Cookie Crisp? Yes, it's probably similar to that, right? So like, it's probably pretty good. Cool. We just crisp. don't know. We'll get the Cookie Crisp in a bit. Oh yeah. All right, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, fucking S tier, 
absolute goat. Finally, goat. we got to a goat. Cinnamon Toast Crunch is so good. Dude, it's the taste you can see. <laughs> I don't know. I still, all these years, I don't know what the fuck that means, but I, I agree, I think. I don't get it either. I guess it's just because, like, you can see, like, the cinnamon swirls in every bite. Yeah, but you can see that with, like, anything. <laughs> that is true. Like, I don't get, I don't get how, how it's different. But, again, I'm, to- I'm okay with that. Like, I'm sure if I ate, like, a bo- box of, like, um, Cocoa Pebbles, it's not going to be like, I can't see the chocolate. Like- yeah, 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 yeah. If you ate a, a chocolate chip cookie, you'd be like, oh, I, I can taste the taste you can see because I can see it. I can see the chocolate chips. It does. Also, I don't understand why the commercials, the adults were just fucking like, I don't get it. I just remember this one of this Australian dude being like, oh, I want you to love the cinnamon taste crunch then. Because we could see the taste. That's not a good reason. <laughs> that, that's really not much of a reason at all, in fact. You know, it was a, it was a commercial where these guys were like in the fucking jungle with us, this Australian guy. And it's like, he can spot even the most... De- most camouflaged of snakes hiding in the trees, but can he see one? He love to taste the cinnamon toast crunch. Like crikey, I can't see that. Oh my god, it's so weird. It, you're right, it is weird. It's a weird tagline to like be be going all in on, but again, it, it's I'm fine with it. But fuck, does it taste good? And, and god damn it, it tastes so good. Speaking of taste of delicious, mm-hmm. fucking cocoa puffs. Oh my god. Are, are Cocoa Puffs another S tier, do you think? I was going to say S tier. What were you going to say? I don't know. Like, I, I like Cocoa Puffs a lot. Oh, actually, the fact that they, like, make milk into chocolate milk. That's Ooh. what bumps it up to yeah, an S tier yeah, for me. That, 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 that's enough. That, that, the bonus, the bonus that it gives there is, is enough, actually. Like, I don't think it's better than Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Because mm-hmm. like, we're, if we're talking about the milk afterwards, that cinnamon milk is so, oh, is so good, too. Yeah. Don't talk to me about the cinnamon milk afterward. I'm honestly surprised, like nobody's ever like tried to like bottle and sell cinnamon. Like market milk. that, yeah. <laughs> they fucking could. They should think about all the milks we have today, and not one is just like mm-hmm. milk with cinnamon in it. Yeah, not one is cinnamon milk. Like we're we're definitely missing out on that. Absolutely. But it's delicious. Also, did they get rid of like the the bird? Bird. The cocoa puffs bird. Oh fuck! Oh the oh the coo- the cuckoo for cocoa puffs. Maybe yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't know I don't what became know. of the cuckoo for cocoa puffs bird. Actually, because like I have not seen like a commercial. Well, mm-hmm. to be fair, also I don't think I'm watching the channels where these commercials would come on anymore. <laughs> we're, we're no longer seeing uh, breakfast cereal commercials all the time. Yeah, I don't know. I just I remember liking him. Yeah, I, right. I remember being cuckoo for cocoa puffs. All right, Cookie Crisp. Oh fuck, Cookie Crisp. Uh, you know, I okay. I have had Cookie Crisp, but like honestly, not that much. Have you had it a lot? Because I, I like I said, I, I honestly really haven't that much. My mom wouldn't let me have it that much. Like I would, I would sneak a bite or two of it when I would go to like a friend's house or something. Yeah, and you're like, holy shit, they get the Cookie Crisp, dude. I remember really liking it, but also at the same time, I've had like similar things in the future, like mm-hmm. that aren't on this list, and they were fine. I don't know. I really don't think I ate enough of these to like be really attached to them. But I also don't think they're bad. I yeah. think they're just cookies. How bad can they be? Yeah, it, it's literally just cookies to cereal. And also like it probably would go would go well with milk. So like it's got that going for it. Because again, it's just cookies. I would say top of B tier. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm good with that. You also know it can't be like real cookies because, you know. It's probably not literally just cookies. Probably. I feel like they'd be so much more expensive. Yeah, that, that's true, actually. You remember like a while ago, like, um, I think it was like a TikTok trend where people were like, I made this amazing cereal and I just, all it is is tiny cookies. And everyone's like, how dare you stand where he once stood? <laughs> how dare you try and take their thunder? All right. I think this is our first D tier. Cornflakes. Yeah. Cornflakes, like, they're okay. Are cornflakes anyone's favorite? Like, I, I, I really doubt it. <laughs> no, they are nobody's favorite. Speaking of nobody's favorite, Pops. You know what? You might hate me for this. I actually like Pops. I, I think Pops are quite good. See, I don't, I'm, this is where I'm going to shock you too. I don't hate them either, but I don't think they're anybody's favorite. 
yeah, they're not they're not my favorite, but I think they're honestly pretty solid. I, I think they get a little bit of hate. Like I I, I remember li- liking Pops quite a bit back in the day. I would put them like solid B tier at least, like probably high in B tier. I was gonna put them above Cheerios. Yeah, I do that, but below Cookie Crisp. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Count Chocula. It's just basically Cocoa Puffs and Marshmallows. Okay, I, I've never had Count Chocula, so I can't speak on this, but it doesn't sound bad. I haven't had it either, honestly. I haven't had any of the monster-themed guys. It's like the ones that were, like, too sugary. I wasn't I wasn't, wasn't having them. Yeah, I mean, you say you weren't allowed to have them, but we ate Cocoa Puffs and Cinnamon Toast Crunch. And Cinnamon Toast Crunch, yeah, there's no way those were any better. But they, they seemed better. It seems more like a real cereal. It seems more less just, like, pure dessert, even though it, they, they were the same. <laughs> even though in the Cocoa Puffs commercial, it's all about him eating a bite and then going fucking nuts. <laughs> <laughs> getting yeah just the most insane sugar rush possible yeah i guess we have to skip it okay you were saying cracklin oat bran the entire time during prep <laughs> okay cracklin oat bran is pretty decent i i want to say it's probably like c tier like it, it's one of those like very intentionally healthy cereals but it i i don't think it's too bad honestly i've never heard of it until you've never heard of cracklin oat bran come on well, I've heard of it now because you've said it 50 <laughs> like, times. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like, we were just sitting in silence while I was typing up the intro, and I would, like, ask you a question. And then you'd answer it and just go, Cracklin' Oat Bran. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw it. I was like, damn, it's Cracklin' Oat Bran. Frankenberry also never fucking had it. <laughs> nope. All, all the fucking monsters. Fruit Loops. Ooh, solid A tier. Fruit Loops are good. Fruit Loops are good. I don't think they're as good as Apple Jacks, but... I think they're a solid A. Although, apparently, Fruit Loops, Apple Jacks are just Fruit Loops with cinnamon on it. I kind of see. I mean, they're they're both like donut shaped. Yeah. And no, we do not have a fucking favorite flavor of Fruit Loops. They all taste the same. <laughs> they're, they're, they all taste like fruit. And that's fruit with two O's. Because it's not legally fruit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Those things have never been near a fruit. <laughs> it's like that SNL sketch. Almost pizza. Oh, yeah. It's almost pizza. (laughs) It's almost fruit, but it's not. It's close enough. No. (laughs) Is it? (laughs) Frosted Flakes. Would it surprise you to hear I've never had the cereal? That's insane. How have you never had Frosted Flakes? I feel like I feel like that's one of like the big cereals, it's like Cheerios or like Apple Jacks or whatever. How have you never had them? I have no idea. That's so crazy. Frosted Flakes, I, I actually really, really like. Better than Corn Flakes because they are frosted, so they just have sugar. But they're, yes. they're honestly really, really good. I think that's why I was never allowed to have it. Yeah. But I mean, like, all cereal is fucking sugar. But... <laughs> Frosted Flakes, I, I actually really like. I, I would buy a fucking box of Frosted Flakes right now. Where would you put it? I, I think they're like a good either top of B or like A tier. I think Frosted Flakes are really great. I'll put them bottom of A tier. Okay. Solely because Tony the Tiger and his milk-powered computer. What? Did you not hear about that? <laughs> no. What the? What are you fucking talking about? It was like um fucking Kellogg or whatever did like this weird like vtuber thing with tony the tiger and he's like my computer is cooled by milk <laughs> i'll send you the clip it's really funny <laughs> that's the most that is the second most insane streaming like brand streaming thing i've ever heard right behind uh you know what i'm gonna say Chuck E. cheese saying pog i've ne- what what <laughs> all right uh, that, that so this is an extreme non sacred i'll tell i'll show you after <laughs> okay <laughs> Frosted Mini Wheats. I actually like these. I fucking love Frosted Mini Wheats. If anyone's hate, hating, they can catch these hands. Frosted Mini Wheats are, are very excellent. I would say top of B. I would agree. Frosted Mini Wheats are very excellent. Yeah. But also, like, I think they get soggy way too fast. And there's clearly not enough frosting on every wheat. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the amount of frosting is is very variable. I, I I always used to like I would eat all the non frosted ones first. That I would I would just have like the ones that are just pure frosting saved at the end. Yes, that's how you do it. Although I remember when when my dog was alive, instead of giving her dog treats, we'd give her these. Just give her just give her a, a little, little, little frost frosted mini wheat once in a while. Oh my god! If we dug our hand into the mini wheats bag, you bet she's Zoe's fucking sitting right at your feet. 
or she's waiting in the crate for you to give her that mini wheat. Look, dude, give me give me that motherfucking mini wheat. <laughs> she loved, dude. I don't think you understand how much she loved. Me. She would do anything for a mini wheat. <laughs> like she hated being picked up. If you had a mini wheat in your hand, she'll let you pick her up. <laughs> she's completely okay. It's, it, it's it's a world of difference. I, I I love when dogs just have like their one food. Like dog, dogs will eat any food, but like you know, there's just that one food that just drives them fucking insane. Yes. <laughs> Uh, golden crisp. It's essentially just sugar crisp, right? I think so. I probably had this one, but I don't really remember it that well. Well, I see sugar bear on the cover. Uh huh. I'm gonna say seats, like bottom of seats here, honestly. Mm -hmm. Mainly because, like, I've had this and I don't remember Jack. Can't really remember it. (laughs) But I know I've had it. But the fact that my memory is not disgust keeps it out of D tier. Yeah, that that means it, it must be decent. It can't be terrible. Mm hmm. All right, um, Golden Grams. You've had this. I've had Golden Grams, dude. Golden Grams are so fucking good. You know, actually, I'm going to switch Golden Crisp. It's going to the top of D tier. Yeah, that's fair. Dude, if, if you haven't had Golden Grams, you absolutely should. It is very, very tasty. I'll go look for it. Where, where does it go? I would honestly put it in A tier. Like, I think it's it's that good. Ooh, Golden damn. Grams are so fucking good. They used to have them at, like, my college, like, the dining hall. And I would I would literally squirrel them away. Like, I would steal them in a Tupperware. <laughs> and then I would eat them for breakfast during the week. <laughs> where where in A would you put it? Honestly, like, the middle. Like, I, I, I think they're as good as, like, Fruit Loops. All right, I'll put it, like, above Frosted Flakes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Golden Grams are fucking excellent. I don't know why. I just have this, like, image of, like, you and Jordan and everyone walking into like the dining hall. And then all of a sudden you get on all fours and just scurry over. <laughs> <laughs> no, people would be fucking ravenous. I don't know if this is the same at your school of just, just stealing food from the dining hall. So I was like, I got limited swipes. I'm a hungry person. I, I need to eat. I'm going to steal this shit. Oh, 100%. Exact same. But like, I think it was Cocoa Puffs mm. that got t- stolen the most. Okay, Gorilla Munch. Oh, my God. <laughs> gorilla Munch. What I, the fuck is this one? I'm sure, like, almost nobody has heard of what, whatever the fuck Gorilla Munch is. I can safely say I had never heard of it until this. I was, like, very ready to be like, all right, so we're throwing it in, we're throwing it out, right? And you're like, no, I've had it. It's like, oh, oh, yeah, surely this is one of those, like, joke things that, that no one's ever eaten. No, I've fucking had Gorilla Munch. I can tell you with confidence that it tastes bad. <laughs> <laughs> I felt How bad because I always wanted to get it because it was like so cool. And I was like, look at that fucking gorilla just staring at you. He's like, <laughs> eat the cereal. <laughs> I think if a gorilla <laughs> stared at me and spoke, I would do whatever it told me to do. I was like, I was wanting to get it. But then like it, it's kind of, it tastes kind of like, like kicks or like, I don't know, like, like cornflakes or something. Like it's, it's very, very. Like unsweet relative to other cereal, and it's just kind of like there, like it's it's just kind of bland. Oh, that is unfortunate. Yeah, it, it, I I put it in like C, honestly. I think it's it's not the worst. I put above cracking o- crackling oat brand, honestly. Just just oh, be- just because. Oh of, shit! Yeah, trouble in paradise. Just just because it's gorilla munch. <laughs> okay, yeah, the box does. <laughs> it sways you with its charms. It do do that. Honey bunches of oats. God. All right. Have you had Honey Bunches of Oats? I have, but I can't remember okay. anything about it. it, it it's an S tier. It is an, an S tier cereal. It's an S tier? I'm not kidding. Honey Bunches of Oats is an S tier cereal. All right. You, you say it goes in S. I'm giving it S. I say that with full confidence. All right. I'm going to trust you on this one. <laughs> Dude, it, it's so fucking good. It has like little clusters of like granola and oat and shit. And then it, it has like kind of like frosted flakes, just like flakes of cereal. It is so fucking good. And some of them have like almonds or shit in it. It is excellent. Absolutely delicious cereal. It's great for snacking. It is, it's versatile. I noticed you seem to really love like the versatile cereals. Yeah. No, Honey Bunch of Oats. I, I didn't even, I didn't even understand. I, I didn't see the truth until like somewhat recently, but it, it is a go to. Like I, I said you should try Golden Grams. You should definitely try Honey Bunches of Oats. It is so fucking good. My eyes have been opened. Uh- <laughs> Honeycomb cereal. Uh, I can't remember. I've definitely had this. Like, I've definitely had this. I feel like it's just kind of there. Yeah, me too. Like, it, it, I, I think lo- it's like it's like a puffcorn cereal. I feel like it's just kind of just kind of there. Yeah, it, it's it's sort of like pops, but in a different shape. That's yeah, it. yeah, exactly. I'm gonna put it at the bottom of B. 
because it yeah. is just pops. Yeah. But like it's harder to eat. <laughs> mm-hmm. I, th- I think it's like honey flavor. I don't know. I, I I don't remember it well enough. And if it didn't leave that good of an impression, it can't be it can't be amazing. I just remember liking pops more. So yeah, exactly. Okay, honey nut Cheerio, motherfucking goat, motherfucking <laughs> honey nut Cheerio. Yeah, S or A? I would I would put it S honestly. Like like this is what you're missing when you're eating regular Cheerios. You're like, damn. But what if it was honey nut Cheerios instead? That honey. We're, we're putting it under honey bunches of oats because the honey bunches of oats has more. Yeah, but yeah, but honey nut Cheerios is just so dependable. Honey flavoring in cereal just hits so differently. Yeah, exactly. All right, go lean. <laughs> Something you had also never heard of, and you also thought it was like a joke thing. This is like, I think it's like Kashi go lean. It's like a, another healthy cereal. It's honestly decent. It's not bad. It, <laughs> it just tastes kind of like, like regular Cheerios or something like that. Like maybe not quite as good. I put it in like top of C tier. I was going to say, so top of C. Yeah, yeah. It's not, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. All right, then we got kicks. Kicks. Okay, do, do you remember how these taste? Or have you had these? I mean, I've had them. I've definitely had them. Yeah. I cannot remember how they taste for the life of me. These, that's, that's because they have no fucking flavor. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hit your desk when you yeah. said that? Yeah. <laughs> I heard that. I was like, what the fuck was that noise? <laughs> I just want to be very em- emphatic. <laughs> Oh my god! Okay, they have no flavor. Yeah, they said that their kid tested mother approved. That's a fucking lie. <laughs> By kid, do they mean like babies, like the yeah. ones that just need some sensory? S- <laughs> yeah, they do. They just need the the crunch of something. It could be cardboard. It could be kicks. Maybe kicks are cardboard. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I've never it's seen fucking, kicks and cardboard in the same. It's, <laughs> it's <laughs> fucking D tier. <laughs> Above or below cornflakes. I, I, don't know. I don't know. I I would put it below. I don't think it really matters, but I would put it below. What's your D tier? It's your, your your garbage anyway. Yeah. Okay. Crave. I really like these, but oh, not I, as a cereal. I was gonna say I, I I didn't think I had these, but I definitely have actually. I, I have had these. These are tasty. I remember. What do you mean? Because like they're basically just like um like a Kinder thing. Mm-hmm. Like it has like the shell and then the chocolate inside, but I always get upset when I eat them because they're so yummy and chocolatey. But then the milk is still just normal fucking milk because mm-hmm. oh, all the right, chocolate, all the, the chocolate inside. Yeah, yeah. Like I prefer honestly just like reaching into the box and eating them as mm-hmm. opposed to using them as cereal. Right. So the, they're 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 not a great like milk and cereal like breakfast kind of joint. They're 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 a snack. Yeah, but also, like, they're fucking delicious. They're tasty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But where, where would you put them then? Because I don't really remember them that well. I'd be willing to say bottom of A. Okay. I, I, I can vibe with that. Because I, like, if you, there was a box of these out in the open, I'm fucking going for it. Mm-hmm. But they're definitely not, like, my favorite. Yeah. But because, they're, due to sheer deliciousness alone, you know? <laughs> that they, they, they are in the A tier. Yeah, and then on the other end, we have a life. Yeah. Okay. We we have two lives. I think we should do the again. We should do the cinnamon life because it's a little better. But life is like not great. Have you had it? I've never had the cinnamon one. I've had this one. Oh yeah, the the plain one is terrible. <laughs> it's so bad. It's really really bland. The cinnamon one has like a little bit more flavor. It's like more edible. <laughs> the plain one is not it. I bet these are made from the same cardboard that Kix is. Yeah, actually, it's it's multi use cardboard. I'll put it at the top of D solely because of the cinnamon one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. If we were talking about the cinnamon one, it'd be raised up a little bit. But the plain one, no, not it. Oh, the difference is it has slightly more flavor. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't become good. It becomes a little bit better. All right. Fucking Lucky Charms. Fucking Lucky Charms. Magically delicious in every way, shape, and form. S tier. Absolute S tier. I think I think it's I think it's only A tier. Honestly, really? I think it's only A tier. Yeah. How about we compromise top of A tier? Okay. I'm I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. Just because like I think like everyone knows this, but like the cereal itself isn't that tasty. It's just the marshmallows. But like the marshmallows are that good. My mom has a lot of quirks. Uh-huh. Like when it comes to her and food. Like she she is a picky eater. It's it's why I am too. I'm I'm assuming <laughs> that shit's genetic. But like when there is Lucky Charms in the house, she will dig through like the bag 
and pull out the marshmallows and just eat the marshmallows. She will not touch the cereal. And just just leave the cereal. <laughs> yes. So eventually, I'll pour myself a bowl of Lucky Charms, and there will be like two marshmallows in <laughs> like, it. Like, what the fuck's going on? Also, we talking that milk afterwards. That 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 oh, green milk yeah. it makes. Oh yeah, it's it. It makes you feel awful, but it is so good. You're like, why am I drinking <laughs> pink, green, and and red sludge? One time it was purple for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! All right, rice. I mean, not rice krispies. Cocoa pebbles. Mm-hmm. I mean, they're 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 essentially just rice krispies, but they don't pop. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, what is the difference between Cocoa Pebbles and like Cocoa Krispies? Like, I guess the crunch or the the, the crispity crunch. I guess or Fred Flintstone's stupid face. Yeah, his his fucking mug on them. Do you like We're, Cocoa Pebbles and Fruity Pebbles? I do, but like not wildly. Like, I think yeah. They're fun. Jules is gonna kill me because she loves Fruity Pebbles. She loves Fruity Pebbles. I, I've always been very like okay on them. I honestly like Cocoa Pebbles better, just because I I think I like like chocolate better. Me too. But like, yeah, they're both just like okay to me. I mean, like, I I I want to put them in B, but I think they're both better than everything else in B right now. Yeah, yeah, I agree. So we'll put Cocoa Pebbles above Fruity mm-hmm. solely because we like that chocolate, though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we we are in agreement. All right. Raisin Bran Crunch. Yeah. We're not talking regular Raisin Bran, just the crunch. Just Raisin Bran Crunch, and it is so much better than regular Raisin Bran. If you've only had regular Raisin Bran, you need to try it. I think solid A tier. Yeah, I agree. Like, I would put them above Golden Grams. Raisin Bran Crunch is the delicious. Because I don't I, I don't think they're better. Like, they don't have as much flavor as Fruit Loops, but fuck them, ra- them raisins, though. <laughs> And the fucking crunch. Oh, uh, dude, it, it, the fucking crunch really gets to you. You know it. Reese's Puffs. Reese's okay. Puffs. Reese's Puffs. Eat them up. Peanut butter chocolate up, flavor. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really like Reese's Puffs, man. I really like Reese's I feel like this might be the last S tier. This is agree- Reese's, Reese's Puffs are really good. I agree. S tier all the way. Yeah, are there people who don't love Reese's Puffs? Of course there are. Of yeah. course, but, you know, they're monsters. Yeah, they're they're, they're just soulless demons. Like, that's okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, Reese's Puffs are really good. Rice and Cocoa Crispy. Do you like ri- Rice Krispies or Cocoa Krispies? Not really. I honestly, I like Rice Krispies. I, I guess I like both of them. I, I, I honestly like them better than Cocoa Pebbles, I think. Like, they're, they're pretty similar, but I think I like them a little bit better. I think it's because of the snap, crackle, and the pop. Yeah, that's true. You got all three of them. I mean, there's also Rice Krispie treats, obviously, which are extremely good. Yeah, I'll put them. I'll put them above cocoa. And they fruit. gave them a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm good with that. Popular B tier. Oh my fucking god, s'mores! Have you ever had that? What is that? Yes, I fucking love these. Oh my god! I've, all right, I've never had them. These oh are god. so good. <laughs> Okay. Oh my god, I've just this is just unlocked memories for me. Like <laughs> just this is like the fucking ratatouille moment. Like came home sad from a day of school and it's like plunge a spoon into a bowl of s'mores. Do you never I I'm buying never you a box. Life. I'm gonna buy you a <laughs> box of s'mores for Christmas. I know we never give each other gifts, but I'm fucking giving you the gift of s'mores. Alright, you said we had no more S tiers. I'm going nuh-uh actual bo- bottom of s tier these Damn, okay. are so right. good i i can respect it because it, it gives you the chocolatey that it makes the milk all chocolatey you got the marshmallows you got that crunch oh hey <sighs> okay, i i will have to try all right i will trade you all right if you if you try s'mores or if, if you try like honey bunches of oats or golden grams i will try s'mores for a second, I thought you were gonna ask me to try fucking gorilla munch. <laughs> <laughs> you give it a give it a try. It might I might it might rock your world. I don't know. It might. Special K. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um Special K it it's just another like like fl- like cornflake kind of cereal. It's very eh. Put it in cardboard tier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tricks. A tier? Um, I mean they're like okay, honestly. I feel like out of all like the fruity cereals, they're like my least favorite. You'd eat Fruity Pebbles over these? Oh, I, actually, no, that's true. I, I like these better than Fruity Pebbles because they're like like crunchy cereal. Bottom of A? Yeah, I, I can do bottom of A. Yeah. 
All right, maybe I'm crazy. Did they used to have like a special version of these or something? They're like, I don't know, they like a mix. You mean they're like a different Crisp shape or tricks? No, of, of tricks. They're like a different shape or something. I don't know, honestly. I do remember they used to have like the yogurts, like the tricks yogurts. And I used to fucking love those. Oh, those were delicious. They, they were like hot, hot pink or like green. You took a nice uh, scoop and you ate it and it was good. Life was good. Yeah, it was, it was just a little vat of acid in your hand. <laughs> All right, two more left. Waffle mm. crisp. I, I've never had this. I don't know what waffle crisp is. It's like honeycomb. Okay. Same old, same old. Yeah, same old. Same old. Uh, we could drop it in C, honestly. If, if, if it's a knockoff of honeycomb. I had it once and I was like, nah. Nah. Yeah. And last and certainly least, Wheaties. Wheaties, the breakfast of champions. Uh, look at that breakfast. Milk, a bowl of cereal, and a fucking banana. A dry bowl of cereal. Unfortunately, not a, the breakfast of anyone who wants any flavor, but <laughs> I guess Wheaties are good for you. I think above cornflakes. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're Wheaties, whatever. All right. And with that, that is our cereal tier list. That is the definitive cereal tier list. I'm very proud of this. Like, yeah, we haven't tried the Pop Tart cereal or Sour Patch Kids, but or or Lucio O's, which I'm upset about. I want to try those. I want to try Lucio O's, dude. Do you think we can save the new stuff for next week? Yeah, I think so. Because I think this is a perfect stopping point for this week. Fantastic tier list. Yeah, thank you all for stopping by. We will be back next week. Don't forget to follow us on Twitch, just another Sam17. Probably going to change it to my parents' basement, mainly because that's all I really do on here. If you follow us, you'll be notified about when we go live, then you can partake in the conversation and influence our tier list. If you want to see this tier list, it's on Twitter, at another Sam17. And also, just another Sam is the name of the YouTube channel that I have where I do things. <laughs> Yeah. You don't have anything to plug yet still, do you? No, I got I got I got to get on that, I think. All right. Well, until next time, thank you all for stopping by. Get out of our house. Tricks are for kids. <laughs>